Yo. I got you. I got you. Oh. Yo. <laughs> and well, welcome yeah. to the bench. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about that? All right, so we definitely should talk about um. <laughs> what? I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> whoa, whoa. We should talk. We should about, definitely talk about it. uh the Hawks firing their coach. Oh, Lloyd, I guess. Yo, I mean, deserve it or? Well, the Hawks didn't. They don't have a good record, so it's, that's just deserved. Feel bad for him. Hopefully. Nah, it's not deserved at all. I don't think it's deserved. I mean, he's a young coach, but like the thing with me is that for most of the season they haven't been at full potential. Like they, a lot of their players have been injured. Even DeAndre Hunter, when he was on the court, they were really good. Trey Young himself wasn't up to speed in the beginning of the, of the season. He was actually doing pretty bad towards the beginning of the season. And even I don't know, I just felt like he didn't have any time. Like mm. I feel like he, he, he was only been there for a year, right? Yeah, about a year. Like, they, I feel like they he had no time, and I don't really think he should be able to blame him for this team. And well, I mean, Nate McMillan won his first game, I guess, which is good. But I don't know how much better Nate McMillan can do than Lloyd Pierce. Right, but at the same time, if you were a GM, who would you side with? Because of the report, I'm saying this because of the reports that came out after that. Supposedly, there was a lot of um, miscommunication issues with Lloyd Pierce and Trey Young. Yeah, Trey. And so, as a GM, what do you do? Like, it's your star player, whether you like Trey Young or not. If you're a GM, I'm saying, obviously, let's take away our fan hat or whatever. Like, let's picture <laughs> us in that situation. What do you do? And yeah, I, yeah. I don't even think it was only with Trey Young. Supposedly, the report, I think, it was with, like with several players. At that point, you're losing. Nate McMillan's a much more successful coach. I think this is Lloyd Pierce's first um, gig. Yeah, as a head coach. So at that point, it's like, you know, you take the risk. It's <clears throat> well, I mean, the thing with Lloyd Pierce was that he was brought in to be Trey's guy. Apparently, he's the one who let Trey be Trey and let him blossom and explode. But now Trey has a problem with him, too. Um, like, at this point, I, I, I'm pointing fingers at Trey if this don't work anymore. Yes. And he, even after that, they're, it's not like they were out of the playoffs. Like, they're still in the hunt. Like... These four through ten are all tied at losses. Are the, all of them have either seventeen or eighteen losses. But any given night, one of those teams lose, and they can drop from fourth all the way to tenth. It sucks because I hate this is like how the NBA is. The moment your team loses, all the blame goes to the coach, and they end up getting fired. Yeah, that's why I hate about the NBA. Never yeah. the players' fault. Is always it's a scapegoat. Yeah, good coach is a scapegoat, and that's just how it is. I guess a lot of these coaches just kind of get like placed. In different places until they land on somewhere and they make something happen and then they get all the credit for it which I, I guess that goes the other way too right yeah like we credit coaches like steve kerr for being a really good coach but i mean it's not like he had a hard gig right mm. um but i mean obviously steve kerr i do believe is still a really good coach yeah, he is. but then there's other coaches like um lebron on the Cavs. Oh, tyron lou tyron lou he got to come into a finals contender team right away and now he's probably gonna have a job somewhere for the rest of his coaching career right as least as an as an assistant coach because he has a championship ring under his belt mm -hmm. there's coaches like uh steve nash we don't really know if he's actually that great a coach or james harden Kyrie, and kd are just monsters and Man. they're gonna win you a game no matter how many times you tell them to run on the fast break or crash the board like yeah what else do you tell three superstars well two superstars and a really good all-star hey, not two not three I mean, would you call Kyrie Irving a superstar? Yes. Yes. Oh God! Here, I'll step here in. Here we go. Absolutely. Here we but go. But let, let's go. not get sidetracked. Let's go. But but yeah. So I mean, coaches <laughs> have it rough when it comes to the side of new coaches coming into positions where they're not like fans didn't expect the Hawks to do all that well. At least we didn't. I didn't. I thought they were going to do a lot better. A lot of people I had them like playoff hopes, but I was like, I'm cool if they make it 9C, 10C. Cause they signed like Gallinari, Bogdanovich. Like, John Rondo. Yeah, Bogdanovich yeah, Rondo. was injured. Gallo has been injured. Rondo has yeah. been injured. Right, right. But before we're talking about like preseason um, expectations, yeah. like they were actually projected to a threat in the know? East. A lot yeah, of good like signings, six, like oh, in theory. Kind of yeah. I never expected those. Me neither. I expected seventh seed, sixth seed tops. Like, that's a really good season for them. You know, it's, but no, it's the management. It's the management. Atlanta comes on me. What? Say it. That's it. Just say it. It's the management no. and it's the, the ownership that are both pressuring the team to get good today. For no reason. For no reason. Mm -hmm. Trey Young's third year in, this, in, in the league. And it, there is something to say about, bro, they traded Luka Tondic and a pick for Trey Young. Let's not forget about that. that. That that has to weigh heavy on that GM's head. Yeah, that's true. So that's probably management. That, like, ownership's probably telling them, hey, you got to get good quick before you fire you, bro. Because Trey Young is good. But Luka Doncic 
is really, really good. Yeah. And yeah, they attached a pick to him. That hurts. They yeah, attached a hurt. pick to Luca. It hurts me, and I don't even care. Like, I don't even care about the Yeah, I have no at stake all. in either, though. And, yeah. like, it hurts me. Like, pain. Hey. It's serious. It's serious. <laughs> yeah, that sucks, man. But no, Lloyd Pierce, he's going to get another job, bro. And there's it, this thing that sucks is that I see Lloyd Pierce getting fired over here. On a, on a good promising team, you know, and I, I don't think he had a, a good chance to really show what he can do to a system. But then we have people like um, Dan, Luke Walton. <laughs> oh, still the on the Kings. But the Kings, there no but no, but the, no, but the Kings have a promising future than the Hawks. So. But you do have a good point. But exactly, that's his point. Yeah. But there's so but I feel like they have so many good players. Another coach can definitely put yeah, the Luke Kings wants, to another level. Yeah, that but Luke can't. I will yeah. give Luke credit where credit is due. He's doing way better this season. Way, way, way better this season. That team is looking way, way better. Last season, they looked so lost all the time. It's like a half and half, though. Like, if, if your team... Yeah, you got to give players credit, too. Yeah, but if your team is doing bad, you have a higher chance of getting fired. And if your team's doing good, you're going to stay. You have a chance of getting all the praise for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's like what it is. It's a job. It's a business. Yeah. It's yeah. not a fair game. Like, at the end of the day, it's really as simple as, like, it just matters about the results. Like, yeah. it, nothing else matters. There's like, nothing else matters. It's really all about the results. Reasons like, or results, who's right? Who's the coach, yeah. Reasons or results. I, I don't care about the reasons. I remember doing Casey got fired when he won defensive. I mean, he won coach, coach of the year. year. got fired. Uh, that's happened. Oh, George uh, Carl Dwayne, too, I think. Dwayne Casey? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Ha that's happened a couple that times, yeah. That sucks. They're the scapegoat. I mean, the, the easiest way to get a good, a good new look on a team is to get a new coach. Wow. And they're easy to get rid of, and they're relatively cheap compared to players. There's very few coaches that after a bad game, there's not too much buzz about, unless you're like a real, real basketball fan about the coach. Because even like the Warriors, if you like go on Twitter, if we lose, there's talk about, oh, Steve Kerr's adjustments were wrong. And like last yeah. night with Frank Vogel, everyone was on Frank Vogel because supposedly his rotations or whatever. Coaches, people talk about players getting a lot of the blame. Coaches get a lot of the blame. Coaches do get a lot And they get fired. Like a basketball player, I mean, you trade them or something, but coaches will get fired. They, so. Yeah, <clears throat> real quick. Coaches will get fired real quick. Yeah, even this season when we start, when we're off to a bad start, even I blame Eric Bolstra for defensive possession. Their defensive identity was gone. But yeah, I mean, uh, I guess at the end of the day, the one pulling all the levers and flipping all the switches is the coach. But I think lowered Pierce will be Yeah, I think he'll find another job. Hopefully. Hopefully yeah, he'll think, find another job. I do think he'll be just fine. Oh, did you guys see this thing with the referees? <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Disgrace. How That's the disgrace. hell Booker got ejected, yo? I was watching this. Yeah, so apparently, I don't know what Devin Booker said, but even LeBron was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. There man. was a, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know the source. It was and they're all trying to tell him something. Supposedly he said the B word. He called, yeah. already said, beep, ass, beep, beep, beep. Yeah, that sucks, man. Damn. That sucks. But hey, I mean, you think the refs are too like yeah? Are the refs sensitive? Are, yeah, yeah. Ref, no, refs that's what I'm win. saying. Are they allowed to get in their feelings because of something I said? Refs are gonna win defensive play. Yeah, you're, <laughs> funny. you're hilarious. They're they're no, the, the no. ladder every single year. This year they're getting. Like, yeah, I'm just worried. No, the funniest technical foul or ejection or whatever was Rasheed Wallace. That was the funniest thing I've seen. I got one for you. That's funnier. No, Go Rasheed ahead. Wallace kept staring at oh, the ref. No, he was trying to intimidate them. And he literally got ejected. And I was oh, dying laughing. I think I think I know what. Yeah, there was that. the Tim Duncan one. Tim Duncan. That he's one too. laughing in the bench. No, that, yeah, that one too. Oh, and then he comes up to him and he's just like, laugh? he's just like, bro, bro, what's going? He's like, no, I told him to stop staring at me. I told him three times. Yeah. <laughs> he was the old white guy, right? The yeah, yeah. old dude. Yeah. Um, that's, half, that's half of the refs. <laughs> Crawford. <laughs> oh, Crawford uh, is Joey so Crawford. The Reddick one that happened like last week. Oh, oh yeah, 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 that was funny too. Yeah, that was funny too. Yeah, he spin the ball to him and like, hey, hey, what the? Yeah, what passes the? Out of here! I'm like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, that's it's. I it's never bad. Like, I never knew you get a, an ejection for staring at somebody. Like that's hilarious. Nah, me. he was high key throwing him though. I'll, I'll be honest <laughs> with that. One, that one was scary. I'll be honest. Scared for what? Dude? I'd have resigned. I'd have just let the game. Like on, someone else got to coach this game. Come this guy's on, too scary. Bro, that dude's like what six, <laughs> six eleven, seven here, foot. You know what? Beep. You're out of Four hundred pounds. Like, come on, bro. No, that was not. That's when Rasheed Wallace was getting like at least like thirty technical. Yeah, season. Easy. I can see why. That nah, was but, crying. Nah, but that JJ Redick one was bull. This Booker one, I don't care what he said, bro. You gotta kick him out of a game. Come on, bro. Yeah, but at the same time, it's unacceptable. Like, I'm not making any excuses for it, but as a referee, it kind of sucks. You have to completely remove your feelings. Like you can let them call you a bitch, like whatever, and it builds up. Like, cause I was obviously I was watching the game, and I think Booker the whole game he kind of had a thing with the referees. So it's like the whole game you gotta take that. 
this was his second point, tech, yeah. At some point, you know, you, you get frustrated. Exploded. Yeah, but I, I agree. You can't. You got to completely there's like, your feelings. There's money on the line, bro. That like, There's a lot of people who have a lot of stakes in all these games. Every single point that scored matters to someone out there. Like, I, I think it's just unacceptable. I think the, the big the biggest thing about it is that there's no accountability. You feel me? Like, the, the refs can mess up all they want. And I know it's a hard job. There's no doubt about it. It's a hard job. They see things in split seconds that I can't see in a, in a slow motion replay three times until I watch it the fourth time. Mm-hmm. They they catch stuff that I can never. And they, yeah, they do have a, they do have a difficult job. Though, yeah, they do. absolutely. They do. I understand that. But there's no accountability. And sometimes like there's there's times where refs will take four minutes looking over footage. What the, the things that I saw in real time, like yeah, I saw it flew off of his face. It's definitely out of bounds on that. But guy. Nah, but think about it, it though. Take four minutes to review that footage. No, nah, but think about it. But their decision, the their decision dictates the game. I know, and I'm bored of the game at that point. But then okay. they take they, they they take two seconds on this other possession oh, where it's like right. it was it might have been out on any of these five people, and they're just like no, nah, out on him. Next team, oh, wow. him on the ball. Like I'm like bro, look over that. Why don't you look over? That's just as important. Another thing that was pretty obvious, and it took four minutes to look at it. Like, it, there's no accountability, there's no structure, I feel. And while there's so many rules in the rule book that they know and I don't, like, it still feels like there's not enough accountability to enforce those rules. Um, I know, but at the, la- at the final two minutes, you can look over any call. I know that, right? Like, you, any call, yeah. you're allowed to look over uh, the replay for them. But they don't take advantage of that, I feel, in the right, op- in the fr- in the right times. And when they are wrong, I don't, I'm not saying they should get fined because it's not like refs get paid anywhere as much as these players do. There's not like, it's not misconduct, but you know, it's human error. Everybody makes human errors. But there should be like, like some type of like repercussion for, for getting something yeah. crazy wrong or, or for taking a player out like that. Like, yeah, like at any job you mess up, like, yeah, there's, there's consequences. Some strike, some recommendation they should call them out like they do with uh, like when the nba gets a call wrong they should call them out by name i mean i don't know if they already do that <laughs> they do the like minute. i mean not throw them under the bus but be like oh like such and such like yeah i mean they do, do the, the, the like two minutes yeah. and like the regular season it's yeah, like a system where like if you get like seven wrong calls you get suspended for like <laughs> something bro <laughs> like it's that would suck though i thought like there's supposed to be some type of accountability and then you make the hall of fame of referee <laughs> You're like this guy he got yeah. zero. Nah, no nah I think nah. I think refs, some refs make Hall of Fame. I think like Joey, Crawf- Joey Crawford. Bro. He has to be right. Like the only referee referee has to be, that's yeah. the only referee name I know. I know no, you know it's the one that always messes me up. Tony Brothers. Oh, the Tony, oh, the yeah, Tony like, Brothers. Who's the? Yeah, which yeah. One? I don't I'm like, know. They wow, both like... of them are refs. That's cool. <laughs> nah, there was a the referee dead. that was gambling that was betting on oh, games. Oh yeah, what's his name? I think it was like Tim. He refereed the Kings one, the Kings Lakers one. He did. But he came out of jail? You know, I've avoided that video. There's a video where it explains everything. I've avoided it for so long. I'm going to watch it. Because I don't know. It kind of messes up Kobe's title. Like, yeah. I'm in denial, but I'm going to sit down and watch (laughs) it one day. I remember remember watching that when I was a lot younger. On outside the lines on each fan, I remember watching the, the whole referee getting arrested. Yeah, there has to be some validity because, like, there's been books and everything written about it. Like, yeah, that was crazy. And I love that Kings team. I don't know why. There's Wait, which no, Kings team? No time talking about? for that. Like the Weber. Yeah, the oh, 2001, 2002. Weber, White Chocolate. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Pedro, super cool team. I never I really like that team. Yeah, Pedro was a monster. Yeah, he was. He was. Anyway, yeah, refs sucked. <laughs> <laughs> they should get reprimanded. Fuck them refs. Oh yeah, the three point contest came out. Ooh, this is that's wow, like this is a very spicy lineup. Yeah. Very very spicy. A couple weird names, but weird names. Some like there's like two cheeks. two names that are like they were you all think of- cheeks. Oh man. I, I don't know Brown and Tatum there like three point shooting. Oh, yeah, I'm surprised. Three, three point, oh, yeah, those are the two. Was cool, I, I mean I like it. I don't want them to all like. It adds, I think that's like, what the uh, slam dunk. <laughs> Oh, we, wait, can we talk about that too? Is that like, Kato? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, let's take it one at a time. <laughs> My bad. Yo, he's so damn funny. So man. we got uh, Devin Booker, Jalen Brown, Steph Curry, Donovan Mitchell, Zach Levine, and Jason Tatum. Two Celtics on here. All and right. all of them are all stars. This is a full all star lineup. That's fun. And I'm sure it's because they're all going to be playing. This is going to happen in between the all star game, maybe? Half time. I don't remember. Half time. Is it half time? Is it all three yeah. of them going to happen at half time? Yeah, wait. Hold on. No, nah, I don't think no, so. No, no. no I'm <laughs> tripping. I'm tripping. The dunk contest is going to be on half time. Yeah, the skills and three is before. Before, before, the, last game. before the game? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Hey, yeah, I, <laughs> the count of three pick. Pick who you think is gonna win. Damn, no way. This is no way. This is happening before the game. Yeah, is. This is gonna happen at six thirty p.m., bro. They're gonna have me up till one a.m. watching this damn All Star game. One, one. Be like till eleven. 
Yeah. No, bro. This is gonna take. This is gonna take a cool thirty minutes. Like twelve. Start at seven, and if they do the skill challenge, it's gonna start at seven thirty, maybe hopefully. Then they're gonna. Then they're actually start at like eight. They're gonna come up with some ceremony at the end. Yeah, yeah, and there's so another like, half hour for the dunk contest. Like, right, we won't Someone's get probably gonna perform. People to watch. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, I don't think. I don't think. I don't think it's gonna be a performance. Oh, matter of fact, I may be wrong. I may oh be my wrong. god, it's Bruno Mars, bro. They're in Atlanta. They, one Wait, of those is Atlanta he, is he performing? No. Oh, you're, oh, well, I look <laughs> one like of those right Atlanta dudes are gonna perform at the uh, like Wait, Migos well, or something. The yeah. impromptu Atlanta <laughs> All Star Game, bro. Oh, it's an impromptu Atlanta All Star Game with no crowd. You imagine Migos with no crowd? Yeah, yo. Oh with mask on. <laughs> nah, that's the world we live in. A whole new, whole new meaning to that song. <laughs> what? Fucking mask off. Yeah. Oh, mask. Oh, wow, that's so funny. The whole new meaning to that song. <laughs> mask off. But yeah. Wait, all right. So you said three, two, one. Where everybody says who they think they'll win. Oh, the three point contest. Yeah. Uh, three, I, two, one. one. Three. Booker. Jason Tatum. What the? Why do you take so long for your vote? He has an answer. No, he said Curry. I said Curry. I said oh. Curry. Damn, so we all had a different answer. I said D-Book. D-Book? I said Jason Tatum. I love you. Damn, we all had different ones? Yeah, all different yeah. That's crazy. I mean, it's close. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. it's I just see, who's hot yeah. that night, right? Uh, yeah, I, I see like Curry Le- or Booker. Been like Curry, like Booker, Levine. Booker or Levine. Okay. Yeah, I think so too. No, I got Jason Tatum. Like, I can see it. I feel like he's a volume shooter. He has shooter. a nice form. Yeah, he has a beautiful he has a really form. Nice he has a, he's a volume shooter. So It's whoever, bro. This is such a... I feel like all these guys could be elite on any given night. What? Who's gonna sex up one guy? Who's the one guy? Like no some, oh some not man, you. I'm gonna get some death threats. <laughs> oh man, the guy on the. Oh, oh I mean, man. I think Levine. I mean, I think Mitchell's the better player out of most of those people there. But I don't no, think he's over the Steph, best, yeah, he's he? the best one. Oh, you said he's one, one like of the, the best, best players. Yeah, okay, the bad, better player out of all those. Yeah, I got Jason Tatum. He's Levine. a good shooter, man. Sure, bro. Again, any give anyone any one of these players. I could. promise you, I feel like Clay could win it. Clay's not in it. Clay, Clay I, I'm win saying it. like her. Oh, oh. Like, him coming out limping. I, I promise you. Give I promise me thirty you. balls. That I'll would make be twenty-eight. <laughs> if Clay played out, I, I would pick Clay. <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Wait, wait. If Clay and stuff was. In the three point, yeah, like lineup. it happened. Steph and I think won Curry twice, won, and Clay won but once. I had Clay, and if it happened again, I would pick Clay. Oh, oh Steph? Steph, Steph and Clay played against each other three times, though. No? Steph won twice, and Clay won yeah, I don't once. Think Clay's a, oh, Clay won. Clay won once. I'm pretty remember. sure. Yeah, I, I think Devin, so. No, Devin Booker. Won. I know Devin Booker. Won. I'll yeah. pick Clay every single uh, time. <clears throat> wait, I no, nah, I think Clay did. Yeah, right uh, here. Clay Thompson B Golden State cool. Warrior <laughs> teammate Stephen Curry. I feel like it was twenty. I feel like it was twenty seven. Yeah, I'm not seeing a year. Seventeen. Oh, okay. Jason with the buzzer beater. Hey, my bad. Told you. My bad. Uh huh. Uh, the skills one looks pretty good, except Covington. <laughs> Shut up. That <laughs> caught me so off guard. Yeah, bro. word. I don't I look at him as a skilled player. I look I at him like, as a good I shooter. Like he's I didn't doing it. I was like, I, yeah. I feel like he's doing it to show that he's not just a three point shooter. No, I feel like, but it, I think it's just definitely showing. Like, yeah, it's definitely weird to me no too. People. Like wants to You'd be surprised. He probably win it. You'd be surprised. Yeah, well, he's gonna take it the most well, that, serious, so he has that. Well, that's yeah. the thing, right? Robert Covington's coming all the way out to Atlanta just to do this one thing, right? For thirty minutes, like it's not even like All Star Weekend. It's one night. Yeah. And they can't go nowhere. Don't fuck up, Robert. Like I don't know, maybe Rocco <laughs> literally lives in Atlanta. Don't fuck this up. Maybe his family's in Atlanta. That's why they asked him. But like, all these oh, other no. guys are all stars. That should be the title. Don't fuck up, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I got Chris Paul though. You got Chris? In the I skill set. I'm well, like, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'll die like. No. Chris Paul every single time. Well, yeah, well it's yeah. all gonna be the same bigs versus small bracket again. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. New who I, new who I pick. I got Sabonis winning it. Oh, I like Sabonis. I love Sabonis. I kind of got Julius Randle winning it. I was gonna say him too, but I got Sabonis. I'm coming out of left field with Vucevic. Nah, I mean, okay. Randle's shooting pretty well from the field. Because you know how sometimes we get like those skill challenges for the. Like, are shooting and they don't make it to like the sixth one. It's yeah. about the shot. So I'm saying yeah. Julius yeah. Randle get one of those. Julius Randle kind of he's he's nice with the, sh- with the with the shooting this year, bro. Yeah, he's a good shooter. No, but that's a good point though. A lot of it is about the shooting. At the end of the day, like you could do really good and then miss the shots and yeah, that last mm-hmm. shot. No, nah, I got some bro, bonus. So. I mean, and nah, if Luca's just... looking like that, he look a little chunky in that photo. So, but I, I'm just kidding. I'm probably going Chris Paul. Just, wow. Chris Paul is the easy choice, I think. Nah, I got some bonus winning it. Hey, you gotta remember too, guys. I know you guys are probably looking at me crazy and the viewers too, but I don't care. It's my opinion and I'm sticking to it. A lot of big men's been winning the skill challenge. Yeah. Bam won it last year. Yeah, exactly. I, I thought he would have should have defended, but I'm sure he did. Did it, uh, did it uh, call Anthony Tony? Call, yeah, Cat. Yeah, he won. Yeah. It. yeah. The first year where they did the big versus small mm-hmm. thing. So. I got Sabonis. I got Sabonis winning it. Okay, sure. Oh, Bam beats Sabonis in the final. 
I think. Last year, right? Yeah. yeah he did. Well, I got some more. See what happens. Okay, 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 okay. Guess how the trade event. Can you relax? Basketball. Relax. <laughs> There's still one more we have to go to. <laughs> Oh, you mean like the cutout? And they don't have like just a straight up tweet like the other ones? Right, so now you're looking up the dunk contest. Casting. Oh, right, sure. I was going to point out the rising. And then the US. Oh, there you go. The USA and world. If that matters. Wait, is it really just three people for the dunk contest? Yeah, it's three. Yeah, it's three. Because it's halftime and if it was four, it would take a lot longer. Oh, I guess. Oh, I do not care. Yeah, I got I'm Cassius so Stanley sorry. winning it. Oh my I gosh. Guess. I got Cassius yeah, I Stanley. Do. I don't care who wins this. I got Simons just because I like him as a player. Yeah, he's really know. good. I don't want to see Obi Toppin win because I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear from Dunker in the league. Yeah, oh, from Tony. I don't want to hear from Nick fans. No, all of them. Jesus, all of them Nick fans. I feel happy for Nick fans though. I'm not like yeah, they're, they're, I haven't reached that point cool. yet. Maybe Welcome. soon, but I'm like happy. I don't know. No, it's super cool for them, but they they are they are damn sure make sure we hear it. Yeah. Like even when the Sixers fans were finally out of the their terrible like laughing stop of the league stuff when they got Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid, even they weren't this annoying about it. <laughs> Just the process. Okay. But yeah, I got Cassius Stanley winning this dunk contest. He you can fly. You know about this? Absolutely. I know every last one of these players. Well, I mean, I know them too, but I'm saying like you know how they how nice they are with their dunks. Yeah, Cassius Stanley floats. I've like, only seen floats. one video of Cassius Stanley. I think he was like in a gym in yeah. like a LA <laughs> Fitness, and he did like a crazy I I know. Think, between the legs something. Uh, but Cass I, I know nothing. Just, just look at his high school highlights and just you'll thank me later. He floats in the air. Watch this actually be really good. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, again, these boys are making the trip all the way to Atlanta just to do this one thing. So. The dunk contest. I hope is, they got something in their bags. The, con the dunk contest has been exciting Look, for the last couple of years. Slam dunk contest, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Yeah, yeah that's half time. So that's half time. So they're going to have half time at 8 p.m. It's going to run another hour after that. 11. All right, I should be in bed by yeah, 10. should be at 11. Be in bed by 10. I'm, I'm going to watch the whole thing. <laughs> I'm going to watch the whole thing because. Uh, all Star Weekend's exciting, so I like All Star Weekend. I'm gonna watch everything. You're gonna hear like if they're gonna dunk in, you hear one fan in the background. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're probably gonna have like the virtual crowd. You know something weird that uh I think JJ Reddick said that uh the noise we hear the fan noise that we hear on TV they they can't hear it oh, in yeah. the stadium. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh for real? Yeah. Wow. So it's just quiet for them sometimes. Wow. Damn. So it's like playing like an open gym. Yeah. It's, that's live. Yeah, I feel good. like that's why. Like a lot of people go off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm way more focused and yeah, communication. No, I would have loved to see Curry in the bubble because you isn't, tore it, that isn't it different? It's different. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's definitely different. <clears throat> but there, there's players some, going off like that. Like there's some people in the crowd in the crowd. Like no, I don't I'm think Steph about the gets bubble. fueled. I think Steph gets fueled by the there's crowd. A little, nah, there was a little bit of people in the crowd. I saw it. Like in the bubble, was just I'm friends and family. Before, like yeah. The bubble. Yeah, it was just friends and family. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah that sucks, man. But like scouts. <laughs> Okay, so US also bro. we have the Rising Stars announced, but they're not playing a game. They're just getting the. the they're not nods. playing a game. No. What? Wow. They're just getting the nods. Are you serious? Honestly, yep. I'm glad. Like, I don't really care that this much. This is something I really wouldn't have watched. I never watched this. Yeah. Yep. No, these games I, are I watched, exciting. Watch the highlights. Never I, watched this. I don't think I've ever watched one. Oh, because there's no defense. I'm yeah, there's sure, literally whatever. if the All Star game is bad, like this is worse. Like nobody's. Nah, I feel like this is a little bit more exciting than the All Star game. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes because they like some some of the players they'll throw like like monster crazy dunks. Like, they'll make like an awesome. And play. Halliburton's hurt. Hunter's hurt. I think Keldon Johnson's bro, but hurt. everyone on Team USA is just picks from last year and this year, and then Michael Porter Jr. <laughs> that's everyone. Yeah, that's crazy. Everyone on this is just that the last two years. Yeah, that's also. Crazy. Um, would love to say that uh, we have Max cut that out. <laughs> I'll say what he did. <laughs> I love it. He told himself from the future to, to cut that out. So when he's listening. <laughs> so anyway, maybe he have two people on this list. Isn't that cool? And we're an older team. Oh, wow. we got Precious Achua over there because he's from Nigeria. Uh, thank, thank you so much. I did not recognize this flag. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we have Tyler Hero over here on the other side, which is cool. Right? Only other person. They're really reaching over there on Team uh, International, right? With uh, Michael Muller. Don't, don't say. Word. Why? Yeah, have you guys ever heard? He's you, Canadian. You guys He's ever, on the Warriors. You guys ever heard of Marker, Michael uh, Muller? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen him play. He can shoot. Nice. Bro. You know, the only thing I know about him, he plays nah, for yeah, Kentucky. Okay, yeah. He's the weak link like in this entire game. Nah, he's pretty good, though. In the entire game. Nah, he's, he's pretty good. Go at him, but I mean, look at that snub tweet I sent. He's pretty good. You know how many people I'd rather have You're there? You're pretty good. Other than Michael Mulder, no, so, yeah, so. you know better than that. But I mean, yeah, who would you have? Darius Garland, Kendrick Nunn. 
Kobe Pizza? White, <laughs> PJ Washington, Patrick Williams. But they're all from America. Wow. Sadiq oh, Bay. Exactly, yeah, though. That's the problem. Exactly. Yeah. Manuel Quickly, Desmond Bain, Eric Pascal. That's what I was asking. Don Horn Tucker. Yeah, but. All the players are from America. Exactly. Yeah, all those players are American. That's what I'm America. saying. They're really reaching on that. International, they really want to keep that uh, tradition alive, I guess. Yeah. You know, the NBA is, is, is almost like a, is, is global. So they, no, 100%. Oh. They got five Canadian players on this team. Now, Canada's Sir. on the map, though. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, they're gonna be a tough team to play in the in FIBA. You said sure. FIBA. It's FIBA. <laughs> Fire, bro. <laughs> I'm messing with you. But it is FIBA, though. But, uh... Oh, God. Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna have to play Nikhil Alexander-Walker. He's good. I like for Alexander For the gold Walker. medal. He's good. I mean, they're good, I guess. You got potential, right? That's running on this team. Blue Dort. Yo, try and say that first name. <laughs> Anyone? Lugens. 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 Lugens Dort. I don't know. I'll call him Lou Dort. Lugens. 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 He is, he is French-Canadian, I might imagine. The Zhang Duo. Oui, oui. The Zhang Duo. Oh. Um, where he's like, wait, that's my main name. Oh, yes, yeah, so a lot of these guys are really young, but I mean, I guess that's the point, right? Hot pockets. And then there's the pretty much all we have, right? As far as All Star news. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's no celebrity. What about <laughs> what about the celebrity game? Oh, they're, they're not, not playing it. That. Man, this is hard. Won it like three straight years and nobody cared. No, yeah, that'd be no, that'd be no, that was funny. It was funny one time, like the first time. It was hilarious. Yeah, it was. He had like two points. They got Justin yeah. Bieber out there, running. and then he was just yelling. Yo, that him. was no, that was hey, yeah. They, <laughs> really, they always have Justin Bieber out there running point. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, Justin Bieber. I think J. Cole played him when he dunked. Yeah. yeah. That was like nine that years was ago. That was exciting. That was like yeah. Anyway, your boy Anthony Edwards is fourth on the rookie ladder. What do you gotta say for yourself? Who's up? Who's up? Who's above him? Above him? Is that's BS. Halliburton Lamello and who? Man, man, quickly. Oh. That's BS. Nah, yeah, 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 I would have quickly. Why is it BS? I mean it's rookie of the year. It's not like No, that's BS, man. He should be higher. At least like number two. Yeah, I know Tyrese kind of good with the Tyrese is nice, bro. Tyrese he's Halliburton. Such a, he's the player I've seen. Like he's such yeah, a really, team player, bro. He's good. I like his game. But nah, he's nah. You gotta watch him. He's I, really good. No, nah, he. I know he is. He, he is really good. But I think I think Anthony Edwards is better than Tyrese Halliburton. Definitely yes. not. Not right now. Like I think definitely. he's better. Oh, I think he will be. He better, has way but. more potential. But no, nah, I think he's better, and that's my stance, and I'm sticking to I mean, it. I don't think you're wrong. Given the same opportunity, I don't like uh, if they were both on an empty team with them to make to score as much as they want. Anthony Edwards would probably have a better year, yeah. But I mean, they're both not in similar situations. Obviously, Anthony Edwards is a little bit worse off than the Timberwolves, but they're both in the same position where they're not they're not even the second option, right? And Tyrese is nah, you shouldn't. Edwards is. I feel like since. Uh, Cat and D'Lo didn't hurt. He's been the first option. No, but Cat, they still have Cat. Cat is, Cat's healthy now and Malik Beasley. I said Beasley. since he's been, like, he was hurt. Oh, right, right, yeah. yeah. Uh, like, certain point of the season, yeah, he's yeah, actually yeah. hurt. Yeah, well, then, uh, in those games, he should be dropping stuff like LaMelo Ball, you know? It, yeah. Drop no, you LaMelo got a point, you got a point. I mean, LaMelo Ball is clear-cut number one right now, though, right? Yeah, he is. Impressive, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, he is. Like, he's been averaging so much better numbers since he got like 19, promoted. Six. Yeah, it says right here, since the last ladder, which was a week ago, 20 hey. points, 5 rebounds, and 9 assists a game. That's and fire. I'm still going to say, uh, I'm still going to say, James I Wilder. would rather have Wiseman. Because I see a lot of people, like, I saw a tweet that said directly, when are Warrior fans going to say, going to regret the pick? And I still, like, obviously it's early. I still don't regret them picking Wiseman. Lamelo's playing way better than even I thought, but potential-wise, like, what do you guys think? Lamelo or Wiseman? Dasky. I personally, Wiseman. I mean, I haven't seen Wiseman much. Wiseman is 19. I feel like I haven't seen enough of Wiseman. No, Wiseman's really good. I ain't gonna lie. Like, but I don't really know. Good. I don't know how far he gets on a team where he has to always be behind Steph Curry, Clay Thompson. He's Jeremiah a big. Green. What do you mean behind? <clears throat> I mean, I'm saying he's never gonna get to be a superstar on that team I until think, they I think he can, until they hit the big red button. Saying. You know, right? Until it's his team. Yeah, they got. That's a good question, though, man. I think he could be a superstar even in the Warriors. That's a good question, though. My my thing is the years. Like, how long is it gonna take him? But let's say if he were yeah. 24 on this team, I think it's possible. But Curry's only got so many years left. Not that he's old or anything, but no, that is a good question. That timeline is different. Who's gonna be a better player, Lamelo or Wiseman? I think that's Wiseman. It. You think Wiseman? Damn, that's hard because both their ceiling for no, me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like it's like dead even. I got, I got Edwards on top of them though, both of them. Over both of them? I don't know. Like might be edging like, me out. Like Edwards, like ceiling. Not saying he'll reach it, but like if they all were to reach their ceiling, I think Edwards. You know, yeah, I honestly, I, well, yeah, I agree with you on that one. I honestly don't think 
<clears throat> like how do i say it <clears throat> i don't think edward's feeling is that is that high to oh, i think he's gonna be like a really good score and like that's it oh, like really man. good score and like have exciting plays and everything but i think that's it. but like not nah, to be like that's I, just what i think you're hating from outside the i'm club, really bro. not hating i'm really not you're hating, hating I just, you're gonna have a lot of you're gonna have a lot of okay, comments so you're saying bro. best case scenario you'll be like a bradley beal Best case scenario, he's like he's, that, like, like that kind of play. I don't even know if he. He's a perennial all star. I don't even know if he'd reach Bradley Beal. No, I definitely, yeah, perennial all star. Damn. But I think Lamelo. <laughs> that's a deep. That's a deep. <laughs> I, I'm, that's just yeah, what I think. Wow. Really, really, I don't even. Really, I don't really think good. he's gonna reach Bradley Beal level. Bro, D Wade said wow. he has D Wade potential. Oh, I, wow. I think Wade is being. No, nah, Wade's been no, no, Wade. Not like that. No, Wade's been a liar. No, no Wade liked him. Trying to no. put me against every, everybody. No, you tripping. You tripping. Wade liked him since he was in high school, man. So uh, I think I he mean, met he's, that. He's really good. And he's, yeah. a, he's a freak. Like. Wade told me personally he's known him since high school. <laughs> <laughs> so Max last week's like, dude, I got to tell you, this kid Edwards. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, know yeah, what yeah. they're gonna do with him. Yeah. Oh, you were on a three-way. Oh, you were there. Yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah, no. I knew. Well, I saw an interview of Anthony Edwards, him saying, like, oh, Wade's been, been appreciating my game since high school. That's what Oh, one said. thing I will say, though. He's, Edwards is first team on interview. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, he's Yo, hilarious. his interviews? Yeah, he's very oh, funny. I'm a fan. Like, when it comes he to that, oh, my God. Funny. Yeah, he's really funny. Uh, so well, that's James a deep Wyman, statement, though, man. James Wiseman gets 20 minutes a game, and he's averaging... Uh, yeah, don't, 12 don't, points. Don't look at the numbers, please. Like, <laughs> ignore. I watch the games. I'm telling you, like, no, no he's, he's good though. He's 12 lost. points and six rebounds. He's lost when he's playing. Hey, he's he shooting looks lost. 40% from three on one attempt a game. Yeah, that's been the only like impressive. Well, I mean, he just has good. flashes. He's, like, I yeah, know I'm they, speaking. I saw it, he was 10 for 25. He like, just has flashes. 10 for 25, yeah. He has these little flashes where it's like, it's, it, it, it looks like tall. if it comes together, <laughs> it'll be dangerous. I, I don't doubt it. I just, it's hard to see, you know, his lane right now, you know, like, especially we don't know what time frame the Warriors what, are working that, with. That's, yeah, that's my, like, yeah. it feels like the, the, the end of the Kobe years on the Lakers type of situation. You feel me? Where like yeah. Elo and Julius Randle and Jordan Clarkson are all out there doing their thing, but we don't know right, but let's take, when they're like, going to get their time to shine because right. Kobe's still in town and it's Kobe's retirement party, you know? Right. But let's take, um, like, let's leave that's team success aside. Like that, to me, that doesn't affect this the statement saying like, Wiseman is gonna be better than Lamelo Ball. I think I think Wiseman will thrive anywhere. Well, it's I just mean, all about his development. If I can't look at the stats and I can't look at the team success, no, 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 no. The, the, <laughs> what I meant, He's what a, I he meant, means like watching the actual game, like right? No, no, him play. no. Obviously, if the numbers never. Is this? Like in, increase, of course, but I'm saying it's so early in his career and he's playing in the Warriors. Like, For, yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. It's tough. From what I've seen, I think James Wiseman could have gone to no better team but the Golden State right. Warriors. Anytime he does anything in a spot he's not supposed to be or takes too long in a decision, yeah, Draymond lost. Green is on his ass yeah, yeah. <laughs> in a yeah, half a second. A slide, that guy's yeah. like no yelling at him and he looked like he's just having a bad time sometimes, but I think he does appreciate it. I think he knows that. Is, he's that Draymond Green is like, like if in two years his numbers are not on par with Lamelo, then okay, like I will, I'll give up, like I'll give up my case, but give him some time. I don't know, like yeah, it'll take time, <clears throat> especially you know we have to let we have to let Curry die off from the Golden State Warriors. If, yeah, that's you, not if, you, if you know what I'm saying, like he gonna get another contract from Golden State. And it's gonna be a nice, cool little thirty mil. He got drafted like, to like legacy team, contract. Cool. Yeah, Why for him, I think yeah. so too. Like he got drafted to the perfect team. He's like, he's gonna learn a lot in this Warriors. Right, it's so crazy that the Warriors had the second overall pick. pick. Like that's, that's insane. insane. That's insane. Well, we don't, bro, the Warriors are eighth. You guys are right back in the mix after having a terrible a terrible start to the year. Well, like, it depends what you mean by back. Yo, in the is mix. it true that <laughs> if uh, they see. if they make the playoffs and like around the second round? They can't come back. They can. Know. He's not coming back. Does he? Asking. I, I thought they know. push it. No, nah, I'm pretty sure he's not coming back. Cause he got he he tore his ACL, right? Yeah, it takes a full year. Yeah, it was Achilles. Achi oh yeah, Achilles. That was a full year. He tore his ACL Poor guy. the year before, and yeah, he tore he tore his Achilles. Yeah, yeah like Golden State, 19 and like, 16. I don't, they I don't think they want to push it, man. You know, when 19 and 16, you guys would be the third seed in the East. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so crazy. Look, you look at every single team. Like, you know, remember like five years ago, five, ten years ago. Like, there'll be like four or five teams where it's like it's full of scrubs. Now, every single team has, has someone some that like good, they're definitely yeah. building right. around. <clears throat> And like I feel like every have draft, like the star, like, and every single draft, there is a there is a franchise guy somehow, right? Like, there's always a franchise guy now. Let me yeah. ask y'all this: at at one point, are you guys gonna like? Because games are just gonna keep getting like more live. 
like in the sense of like crazier and like more scoring and shooting right. and dunking it's more look fun yeah. yeah at one point the stats are gonna become crazy like i feel like in yeah, five you, years we might see a couple people that are gonna be averaging 35 one hundred percent. Because right like now, that. if you're not if you're not scoring twenty points a game as a, as a team's first option, you ain't shit. So how how are we like? You see, everyone, you see how these stats are gonna get so 20, inflated. Like Colin Sexton scoring twenty what? Yeah, average like twenty four. Yeah, twenty four points a game. If that was if it was the nineties, you're scoring twenty four points a game. Bro, yeah, you're, you're all you're all NBA. Are you kidding me? Exactly. So it's like, well, how how are we gonna like be able to like tell how good these players actually are? It's already That's a good happening. Question, like, we points, always right? like take people's like. How good would LeBron be if you drop him in the eighties? Well, especially or these how kids. How would like Shaq be in today's league? We always some right, greats yeah. like that. And I think it's gonna the disparity is gonna become even greater because especially with all these kids growing up in the Curry era, the scoring era, the Kyrie era, the flashy era, yeah. learning to shoot from the three point line before they can make a free throw. We're gonna see this boom go even crazy. It's gonna be exponential. Everyone's gonna know how to put the ball in the bucket. No matter if you're six foot tall or if you're seven foot four, you're gonna know how to put the ball in the bucket. And the NBA is more widespread. There's no. There's no zones. It's, it's yeah, an isolation position game. Position less. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, that's going to get crazy. I'm surprised no NBA team scored 200 points yet. Like, I'm surprised. It's probably going to happen, though. Like, I have a feeling. Sam, I'm curious. What's the highest? No, I'm sure it's half. It's half to nah, right? The yeah. highest was like 185. And, and I think it was like the Denver Nuggets or some, something like that. Ah. I should I get it right. It was combined 370. Yeah, Nuggets. Nuggets. <laughs> the Pistons defeat. The Nuggets 186 to 184. I, told you. I, I said 185, but I was it was around the ballpark. Yes, we get it. You know your trivia. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I can't use this question Chipotle anymore. Though. Yeah. I'll eat Chipotle. Like, so. like, there is a Chipotle downstairs. There is. But to, to to Martin's point, like you look at the bottom, and like I guess Houston and Minnesota are the only teams that are like out. And Houston, a lot of it has to do with um Oladipo being hurt, uh Christian Wood being hurt, but they were even playing good. Yeah, they were so good. you see Sacramento, Oklahoma, they're 11, 12, 13. All of those teams are all like, like nice, like in a sense, like, yeah, they are like good. if you're a fan of that team, you're not like, fuck, man, I hate this team. We well, keep I guess, losing. I like, guess you could take out. You're like, yo, I though. love Shay. Like, I know like, we could build something. Spot, right? I know Fox is there. We yeah. could build something. Like, everyone has everyone a bright spot. Has, like, somewhere. Except for the Rockets. Nah, like nah, Christian Wood. Yeah, Wood's yeah, pretty. I guess nice. he's and then Wall's just like exciting to like finally see back. He's actually playing good. Yeah, but, but I mean the Rockets have Nets picks up until twenty twenty seven. Yeah, but so but uh, even those that's picks are a like bright late. spot. Those picks are late. That's yeah, Simmons. they could be. The, the fact I, that they didn't get Simmons is not aging well already. Oh my god! Already. Hell yeah, bro! You should have bit the. Oh, bro. Already. It's not even biting the bullet. I hope. Just like, looking at Ben Simmons alone when Joel Embiid is in play. Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid isn't playing on the Sixers. When he scored 40 points on his own, bro? Come on. Come on. You yeah. should have. I've always Give said, me like, Simmons and no picks rather than like yeah, all these late picks. Like, all these Nets picks and the way they're playing, they're going to sign their extension tomorrow. All of them together. Four year extension. All of them <laughs> together. Let's do this, guys. They're in a three person group chat right now talking about it. <laughs> yeah, that's I one thing you. that that's, I mean, I know not to like sidetrack, but one thing, one of the things that's scariest, in my opinion, about the Nets is that we were worried about their chemistry. And if you watch the games, they look like they're having so much fun. So much fun. Everyone's hugging and like, Bruh. and I was worried about that. I was like, no, nah, I was not. three guys, even though they're friends. Like there I don't know, too much a lot talent. of egos. They're all like, a lot of egos, they're so happy. All of yeah. them, it's incredible. There was too like, much talent. One thing I did hear on this other podcast, um, the group chat on the Ringer Network, uh, one of them said, I forgot which one of them said it. They said that they think that Kyrie just wasn't born to be the offense. He, the offense should never run through Kyrie because when they did on the Celtics and on the Cavs before LeBron, they weren't that great. They weren't doing great. But I when I agree with it. But when LeBron got to the Cavs and Kyrie gave up the ball, the offense to LeBron, and he just got his ISO play, they were amazing. And now once... James Harden got to the Nets, and he's now their, their ball handler. They're getting 15, 16, 17 assist games. East. Now Kyrie's doing his thing, and they're winning. They're, and they're winning, like, hand over fist. Like, holy, like, they went on this, this, this road trip to the West, and they tore through all the teams, yeah, bro. A, a Without one. their best player. Bro. <laughs> bro. That's crazy to say. Bro. Like, and Kyrie's, they go, uh, KD is plug and play. I that dude can fit him, anywhere. Yeah. Crazy. That, that seems crazy. ridiculous. But no, it's teams like the Rockets, yeah, y'all can cry yourselves to sleep. 12, 12 losses in a row. <laughs> the Miami Heat owned the, the longest win record uh, as at five in a row uh, okay? last podcast. But, you know, the Hawks had to come and Trey Young scored four threes in a row in the fourth Welcome. quarter. 
But uh, hey, the East is super tight. But yeah, we even look at the Pistons, and they got some. They got some. The Pistons are probably the worst off team in the league. I'd, I'd say so. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's I mean, a team that you can say. What the fuck? What you can doing? you say? Like no. Right, they have Jeremy They're Grant. not good right now. Are you really banking on Jeremy Grant? No. Killian Hayes looked bad. I know, really? I know, like, yeah. I can't Damn. be. He did, he I, no, did. no, no, he looked. I'm not saying he's bad. I mean, it's like the typical rookie, like, I mean, yeah, but like, no, rookie no, no, no. point guard, like, because rookie point guards are supposed to take I'm a not little saying, bit to I'm not saying give up. I'm not saying give up on him. No, of course Because Wiseman, not. like, I'm big on Wiseman. He hasn't really played that good. But I was watching the games. He didn't look good. Like, he wasn't scoring, playmaking, like. Yeah, rookie so point guards have? are like, usually take a little bit to get used to the game. What about Dennis Smith? Oh. I think people are making too much of a big deal. I never thought he was a scrub, but people are like, oh, now he's, I mean, is that your future? Future? Nah, I like Dennis Smith. I'm just a fan. Yeah, for Dennis sure. Smith for barely sure. making G League teams nowadays. Nah, nah, nah. He, nah, he, can, he can play for sure. Talk shit about Ruby. That's, that's yeah, you can play at the Y. <laughs> nah, that's fine. I'm gonna just put this on. Nah, I'm joking. Sorry. Nah, I mean, obviously DSJ is DSJ. He's an asset at the end of the day, but he's doing pretty good. Yeah, he played good for him though, dude. He, he, went he well played lot. pretty good. Good for him. Uh, these past two games. Yeah, double digits. At yeah. The score. yeah. I mean, if they can get anything out of DSJ, that's awesome. But there's no like hope. Like, imagine being Pistons fans right now. Like, because all they gave up was Derrick Rose. <laughs> yeah, that was their best player too. Man. Outside of like, yeah, but it's not like they were playing for anything. Yeah, they're playing for what the 13th seed? They basically did that to make Derrick Rose pissed? happy. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I'm sure D Rose this. is like, bro, please. Yeah, please. Come on. Yeah, I saw that Blake Griffin got um. He's gonna get bought out. Fair enough. Really? No, I didn't see that. Yeah. He's gonna get bought out. I I sure. No. What do you guys? Where'd think? you see that? Did you see that? That's, I haven't. I mean, I've heard the rumors, but like. I didn't see that. I've, I've heard like rumors. Like it said, it said that it's like a matter of time. Like I'm sure they're like looking for people. I guess. But like, that sucks, not, man. They're not getting luck. Like who's gonna take him? That's why yeah, it makes sense. It's, like it's who's like gonna take him? Albatross contract. Exactly. Same so contract. they'd rather just buy him out and obviously that rush use it for like yeah. something. Damn, I can't believe he's getting buy out. Blake like Griffin. Griffin? Anyway, I would love like Griffin on the Heat. For real? Yeah. I want a nice, Maybe like big a complimentary, guy. like want a giant like, body, bro. Wait, He's not that wait, big, wait, do you think he'll be a starter? No, I love him. Yeah, I because bro, we started backup our whole last bam. year. We started, oh we started. So cool. What's his stupid for Griffin face? To back up name. Bam. Oh. The white guy, Olenek, Leonard, Ke Leonard. Yeah, we started Myers Leonard for a whole lot for the whole of last year. You know how much more I'd prefer Blake Griffin gonna, than Myers Leonard. Yeah, he's gonna start just off his name, like oh, it's Blake Griffin. And like, even if he comes off the bench, I feel like Blake Griffin's in the place of his career where he's like, okay, are we gonna win? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'll do it. And I think I don't think Blake Griffin's a hard person to work with. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I, you don't hear a lot about that. We obviously don't know, but there's never been any reports of that. I guess. Yeah, exactly. Like, I feel like he's not a cancerous locker room guy or anything. You know? No, you know. It's kind of sad. Hey, you know, my yeah, is known for like rejuvenating rejuvenating careers yeah. so Damn, yeah like we don't yeah, even we know rejuvenate those we don't really know <laughs> if he can play maybe he's just like in a bad oh, environment man. like who wants to be in detroit right now no disrespect like <laughs> i'm saying in his point and it's in, cold in his right point, now too. yeah exactly like there's no motivation and obviously he's yeah, not the boy. same player but maybe he can provide like minutes for a good team what do you guys got him going i don't know i would I like know. any of those teams you said heat or celtics that would be pretty nice what about the maps clippers Ooh. clippers would be nice a reunion i heard that from Stephen a like him going back to the clippers it, yeah. warriors no nah. warriors nah, i can't see i don't know the clippers anything. feel like they have no soul i'll take it you said don't you feel like the clippers have no soul no they don't like, what do you mean Wait, like, what i do thought you mean? i thought pat bev was gonna be that soul like nah, he would have I, a lot of the you know, character i think you know they're rejuvenated the this one year. move that i really no, they're like really good the clippers do if they get lowry oh lowry yes if the clippers get lowry point guard like that like then we have to trade like two players who was it it was lowry there was a rumor we're definitely trading Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly. Beverly and Lou Will. Oh, just, see, you took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, you know what? Perfect. Bro, why did they get Ricky Rubio? Yeah, man, but if that happens, though. Yeah, I guess. If that happens, if if we get Kyle Lowry, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Rubio, bro. I'll, I'll just get you to like Rubio is just Kyle Lowry with nicer hair. I mean, but that's what they <laughs> want. <laughs> <That's> what <laughs> supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I was saying, man, Lou Williams. Nicer hair. <laughs> hopefully, Lou Williams stays on the team, man. You know? Hopefully. There, I saw something that said, um,. <laughs> On Twitter, I saw that it said if Lou Williams if Lou Williams gets traded, he's gonna retire supposedly. That sounds crazy, but no, nah, he loves all of these NBA pages. No, nah, he I loves Jamal Crawford playing into his forties and never even get off the free agent list. Yeah, Jamal Crawford can sign to a team today. He has not retired. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. But he's a hooper. He hooper. Yeah, like, he'll keep playing to like yeah. seven. Word. He would. Another person that got like is gonna be in the trade lock. Trade block is uh, Eric Gordon. <laughs> Yeah, brother, Magic are 13 and 22, bro. Eric Gordon's only getting older. 
Time to move on. I feel like he's one of the he's most still like, good. stepped on ballers. Yeah, so. he's nah, still he's a bucket. No, of like, course. He's, he's still a bucket. No, that's not my point. Is that the Orlando Magic is just like they're in this perpetual rebuild, and I guess okay. Eric Gordon doesn't fit their their time no, frame anymore. Eric, Eric, Eric. Yeah, yeah, oh, Eric, Eric. I mean, I was thinking Aaron, Aaron too, though. Yeah. Aaron too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Someone else that Aaron. saw him. Not Eric like, Gordon. Yeah, uh, Evan Fournier. I think I think Eric Gordon's a negative asset. Aaron, Aaron Gordon, Eric? a negative. Eric, Eric. Eric Gordon, Rocky Gordon. Well, yes. because it's a negative contract, asset. I guess you can say it's his contract, contract, and he's just like he's not as he's not that. Oh well, yeah, no, I'm just talking about like, he can a, score. like, on like the right someone team. that picks him up for that. Like, right, but for, like, they're not gonna get back a first. They're not gonna get back a first for him. Maybe a team. Will it's gonna reach, be like trade fodder. But yeah, mm-hmm. he's a negative asset. Why? Because of Damn, because of his age and he gets hurt a lot. His contract. His contract's like three years, sixty mil or something. He goes to Philly. I feel like that's really good. That would be a perfect fit for him. Bro, for him, like, but I think that contract's too big. Yeah, this contract is kind of insane. You know who I? Th- you know who I? Th- I, I think should go to Philly. Who? Um, Rubio. <laughs> JJ Redick. Oh yeah, I mean, going back to Philly. Yo, they had JJ and Seth Curry. Yeah, but good. I feel like, bro, I'm just worried. Like now how you're much ma- does JJ yeah, Redick have you're making like you're that, a lot. Of, you make no, a lot they wouldn't play at the same time because that you're getting that backcourt. Yeah, like really weak. Yeah, they wouldn't play at the same time, but because like the whole point is like always you have nets, you have to have some. Yeah, but they can mix and match defensively. There. Like they would never put themselves in a situation where you have Curry and Redick in that backcourt. That's like what? suicide. No. Like defensively, uh, but when they defensively, get, uh, yeah, they get of course. cooked. Especially you need at least Simmons, Redick, maybe Simmons, uh, Curry. Like, but I mean, I would like the, I would like. I mean, the they have Danny Green too. Exactly. So, yeah, I can see JJ. Body. I can see JJ also going back. Uh, not back. Also going to Dallas. I can see him going to Milwaukee. Uh, mm. Ooh, that's a good Milwaukee. one. Looks like a Milwaukee. Yeah, he's a shooter. Or, yeah, just the thing about Corver last year. Standard and shoot. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Wherever much. he goes, I hope he makes Where the playoffs. Where is Corver? He retired? I think he was there or yeah, I think he, he did retire. retire. But his last team was Milwaukee. Oh, you know, I said Ersan last episode that he, he always gets picked up. He's actually on the Bucks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he can't pick him up. He's cool. still on the Bucks? Ersan yeah, he's still on the Bucks. Over? Yeah, from the, oh, from the last wow. time I picked him up. Wow. Yep, yep, I don't yep, think I've ever seen him on the court like yeah, that guy. Years. So, <laughs> who, who do we need to hit on it right now? Drum? Celtics or whatever. Yeah. Bucks or whatever. Which, uh, content- do you see any contending Knicks. teams going Yo, the like- Pels beat Utah. Pel- Pel- oh, how are we? Yeah, bro. The Pelicans. What are we People doing? People want to come at me like. What are we doing? The Pels beat Utah. Yeah, no, that, bro. But that, still, that historic, that was like, we're that a was historic not, team and that needs to stop. That was not about Utah, though. Utah's legit. It's just, that was Zion. I was going to say. That was yeah. Zion. Yeah, Zion. Enzo. Enzo. It happens yeah. in the NBA like, where you It was more of a Zion game than a Zell game. Yeah. Zion baby Rudy Gobert. That's yeah, the one thing with Utah. The fact the, the the second that one player can baby Rudy Gobert, they're kind of like done. <laughs> 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 that that that's kind of it. Like it, if if Rudy can guard no. the the other guy's big man, so many they're solid people right now. But the fact that Zion can baby Rudy Gobert, that's pretty tough on the on hey. the Utah. It's a pretty big crutch they have. But I mean. Who's supposed to guard Zion anyway, right? That's what's crazy, like, with um with Zion. Like, when he was coming out, I know there was a lot of hype, but I was still, like, there's yep. no way it's he's going to dominate to the yeah. to the level. But like, the hype is doing. And then he goes into NBA and he does it, and he does it, like, in a manner where it's, like, it's embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. Like, not, when he went even... against the Rockets, I, was, I saw PJ Tucker, and I'm like, all right, at least not in the paint. Like, maybe he could drive to him, but, like, in the paint, catching it in the paint, I thought Tucker had a chance. Bro, Tucker's a big dude. Yeah. No Zion shot. was babying him. Like, no shot, bro. He would fall. Bro, like, yes. Tucker was on the ground. Bro, Zion is not even like shoving people. He just body poop. That's and guys are halfway across the court. I want to see him live. Like, that's one player I want to see in person. Like, Yeah, to, to feel that power in person. To see guy, him too. That, to guy, see him. that guy's insane. Like he's insane. And I'm I'm not even worried about him being injured anymore. He looks I'm like worried. No, he looks I'm like a total so horse. Super like, worried. It's in the back iron of my horse mind. out there. I'm not even that worried about that. The hype died down on him, and I feel like that actually worked in his favor. That now he's like doing his thing. It's not like he wasn't doing his thing, but I feel like he's allowed to grow now. Like, but you know, there's a lot of expectation on players sometimes, and it kind of hinders them. Yeah. For Zion, I feel like, like since his hype di- died down a little bit, like he's been able to grow and it, like mature like equally, like the same way he did with Zoe when he finally left the Lakers, and he's been able to work on his shooting, and now he's shooting above average, like really well. Um, that 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 Pell team is really exciting, man. I, I really hope they make some noise. Um, I don't know if they'll make noise this year. Let's, where are they right now? Yeah, they're 11th. <coughs> a little tough to get up in there. Yeah. They, they're uh, looks like they're two and a half games behind, three and a half games behind. I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna make any noise, but I that, hope they do. That Pelis team is really, really fun. But I do think they trade away JJ Redick. I and do Eric think they Bledsoe. try to get an asset. But, uh, Eric Bledsoe? Yeah, they have uh, a lot of work to do. Nah, with Eric Bledsoe is a negative asset. So I don't, what what are they gonna get back for him? You know, Damn. like I don't know why he's there. Like I feel like he's I like him. A lot of him, people don't like him, but like, him on the Clippers to be honest. 
If oh, they him coming away, back to the Clippers? Eric Bledsoe? That's like, I think, I think there he wouldn't be a negative. I, I mean, I feel like he'll be looked at it. Like, they'll just that's use him like team. a Reggie Jackson. Yeah. I'm not saying he's that yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. level, On but steroids. they'll use him like that. Yeah. Man, I want a Reggie Jackson to be good just so it could be like another Pistons player that left and was amazing. <laughs> oh, God. Because <laughs> that happens way too much. Well, not Luke Kennard. Has oh, it happened to Luke Kennard? Luke Kennard. I forgot about him. Unfortunately. And he got a big contract, too. He did. Yeah, he, got dude, he got some contract. Like, he's like the next upcoming like, Shooters Ray get paid. Shooters get paid. Yeah. I really think he's in the rotation. All right, so we, we know I'm a Heat fan, right? Yeah. <laughs> I do not want us to pay Duncan. I don't want to pay Duncan Robinson either. Damn. What? Can I ask what's happened with Dun or like the he's just not making shots? I mean, because what happened even before the last switch, season? Before like, last season, before how he's played this season because he's not played good. I would not pay him just because like. For me, shooters come and shooters go. He's okay. I mean, he's not. Did you he's always not a, feel that way? He's not on the top ten. Yeah, list yeah. Like, year. like last year when he was going off. Really? I, yeah, because oh. like shooters come and shooters go. Like, okay. Because because he, he's not a current well, shooter. Like like he's not Heat. someone that's creating his own three. Okay, well, yeah, it a, feels like that he finds shooters on the on the on the on the street true, outside of American true. Airlines Arena, bro. Like we we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Like, look, he's like. Have you seen Max Struess? No, I haven't. Have you seen him? All right. Like I think he's like a Bellinelli. He's like one of these. Catch and shoot people. That's it. Like damn, because like I remember Reddit. he's obviously like, really dudes good. Dudes were heavy on Duncan Robinson, and they didn't even want to add him in the James Harden trade. Like yeah, there's no shot. No, 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 Duncan Robinson. Yo, no, let me tell you right now, Pat Riley would have pulled the trigger if that's all they asked for. One hundred percent. They had no, to have all, like Pat Riley did not give a like, they had to. They had to have yeah, they had to have asked for Bam. They if they did a, if they Rose wanted Ben Simmons, Simmons and four firsts, there's no way they just wanted Duncan Robinson and Tyler Hero and picks. Yo, no, yo, yo, no. Yo. Pat Riley would have pulled the trigger on that 100. percent One, Pat Riley think? don't. Pat Riley I don't mean, care. I mean, I hope. No, Pat Riley did not care about picks. He does not. And Pat Riley. So you think he would have done Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, and picks? And four first, yes. Five first, yes. You don't care yeah, about I first hope, round. I wish you. Would. All of our talent is from like, the second round. So, yeah. Like, Man, and Tyler Hero. We don't ever talk about this. The Grizzlies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. No, no. Like, really, I feel like yeah, we don't yeah, talk about true. them. True. Like, I feel like. Yeah, like people are all, people all we know is a bad season but all we know is. about the Grizzlies he just dropped 35 and 10 like, I mean Brendan Clark I think he's been injured Brandon Clark is good uh, uh Jaren Jackson Jaren Jackson injured, right? Can I say Winslow that? Winslow came back bro Max. thank finally. you yeah, finally yo Winslow is How long built is he different been? Oh, let me God. tell you Winslow is built different why do you say why do you say that bro, yo Justice Winslow cause there was this like thing where it's like, kind of built different why he had like gone on this Twitter rant like he had, I don't know period and he was like <laughs> I'm just built differently and I sent it trying to defend it oh, saying man. that like he is built differently I'm like bro stop <laughs> like built differently is like LeBron like Curry, like nah, he's still good though. Yeah, but is he built differently? But wouldn't you say like, he's he kind built of like Robert Covington? Built different. And he's a disclosed challenge. Wow. Well, that he was, had a bad first couple games, but boy. then he came back, scored twenty points, Actually, got yeah, like one two assists, three Covington. rebounds. Come on, yo, Justice Winslow can be really good. He was that. out for the longest though, right? I'm, yeah, glad, he's, I'm like, glad he's back on the he court. He was injured for like three straight seasons. It felt like it, just like Andre Roberson, like yeah. those yeah. two guys. I'm just glad he's back happened. on the court, man. Yeah. He's averaging over 10 points per game, so that's that's pretty good. That's good, man. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I, I mean, he's only played five games for them so far, but yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy he's out there. I'm happy he's on a young team so he can I wonder how his, I wonder how his mental space is, too. He's yeah. a little weird. That's fine, though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't mean it like that, but, you know, he, there's reports about him, like, being depressed sometimes. Yeah. So I wonder how is he feeling at this moment Prish, he posted a picture with him uh, recording music with some friends and there's a full nug on the table and i'm like damn yo <laughs> nug of what Hello, oh, nug of oh like that ganja oh <laughs> marijuana oh. devil's lettuce oh, that's hey. funny that's, anyway can i say something lettuce. can i say something wow. that may, might be a little controversial oh god Shit. oh I clicks just, oh no, no. don't clicks. talk about morant please clicks is it john morant just a little bit Overrated? Just a little bit though, and not a lot of it. Like, don't get me wrong, I love John Moran. I love the controversy. I like okay. John Moran a lot. Before I I, before you say overrated, who do you think he's rated? Like, I need a I need to hear a comparison. Yeah, give like, us like, some like like a level. Why? Like, who's here is he in? John Moran was like almost an all star starter in the West. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll say. I, this, yeah, yeah, I agree like, with you there. Okay, well, I'm about to say. A little bit overrated, that's, right? That's because a little bit over fans, though, right? Yeah, no, I don't think the fans are overrated. overrating him, right? No, I don't think he's overrated. No, I mean he does. Like, but I mean he's very exciting to watch. Bro, though, bro. Like, but because you Let have a show big you. fan base, it doesn't mean yeah, he, like he kind of like carries the team in a sense. Yeah, I get you. What I'm about to say. You guys gonna look at me weird? Nah, nah my, I agree. I need to hear it. I need to he hear it. He reminds me of like a young Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose, yeah, he does. He does. But he's not an MVP, Derrick Rose. 
Nah, I'm talking about like his first like, two his years in NBA. Year? I mean, his first two years in NBA, yeah. Derrick Rose, he, he has that type of effect. Like, so right now, he's block. getting 19 points, eight assists. He, he has a way better already as a rookie, like uh, a way better feel than, for the game, than right? Early Derrick Rose. Like, yeah, if we compare in teams, like everyone in the West, the Grizzlies don't have a good team. Like if we're comparing to, well, they have an all right. They team. have good players. They just don't. Like, they're compared, not actually, they have no, com like, compared to like contenders, because obviously, obviously, uh, obviously, because like if we're seeing Ja and how good he is, we're gonna expect him that in order for him to be great, he has to be like a top four seed in the next couple of years, right? I don't think I mean, Memphis is built to be that. So they I don't can. Think it's I think they can be when healthy. I well, don't top they, four they, in the West is tough. That's exactly, tough. that's my the, point. Top four is tough, but uh, I feel like that's why Donovan, Donovan's eye is starting to become like different, like how people see him. That's what I'm saying, bro. He was almost because like he's starting to improve, but like he's bro, he was almost voted in over Donovan Mitchell, like. Ooh. John Morant, it's, like, bro. Okay, no, but I don't think no, that's, that's being wild. overrated. That's I think what I'm that's saying. just being, like, he's just popular. He's just a popular player. That doesn't mean that they think he's better. They're no, just, but it's in reserves. Fans are going to be fans. The reserves is coaches. <laughs> yeah, reserves but are I'm, coaches. But so I'm, I'm talking about the all-star starter votes. Like, he was, like, third. Like, yeah, that's crazy. No, nah, but he's a pop, he's a young, exciting player. He's I get popular. that, but that means that's like that I means could a lot. Vote. I'm a John Moran fan. I could vote for him. Yeah, but just as a fan and understand. Donovan but no matter what, really no matter where, you're gonna put Curry and Don and Damian Lillard over him first. Of course, every boy. single time. But right. there are people out there who said, "Nah, I'm gonna drop Steph. I'm gonna put and John now, Moran in there." Wait, wait, I got a question that's though. Crazy yeah. to me. That's I got a question though. I got a question though. I got a question though. He's if, different. No, he no, he's really good. In a few years, do you think he's gonna be an All Star? Yeah, yes, of course. Yes. And starter too? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Uh, Why not? I mean, like I said, Steph Curry's got to die someday. Uh, that's hard. Don't say it. <laughs> Luca's going to still uh, You be know there. what I mean. He's going to retire someday. <laughs> oh, that's tough. Because Luca, I feel like, is always going to get the nod over Ja. Yeah, yeah no, Ja's not going to be a starter and Lillard, like, soon. And Lillard like, is still kind of young. Who's oh, 30. Lillard? He's 29. No, and I think then, he's then 30. Trade, and then Trey's going to get traded. He's 29. Curry? Curry? Oh. Trey's gonna get traded in three years to the Trey Young. Trey Young. Oh, Trey. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> An exchange <laughs> sign and Trey. Who said what? That Trey Young is gonna get traded to, to the, the Pelicans? Pelicans in three years for Brandon Ingram. <laughs> That'd be uh, funny. Yeah, Daniel yeah. Lillard is thirty years, two hundred and thirty-one days Ingram old. Ingram and Zoe. Thirty. Oops. I thought he was twenty-nine. Well, definitely thirty. He's still young. I mean, I, mean, I wouldn't say young. All right, he's younger you, than Rubio. Do you? You guys think Harden's legitimately a, a MVP? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I feel Where like I'm the only him? one that loves Harden. I'm sorry. Where would I rank him? Like, yeah, like uh, approximately, like, like, MVP, like ladder. Yeah, he's third. I was just, yeah, like third or fourth. Yeah, because I gotta go, I gotta go Embiid, LeBron, or LeBron and Embiid. I don't know, whatever. Because LeBron's lost a lot of games recently. Yeah. So I'm gonna go Embiid, LeBron, and then you can go Jokic or Harden. That you can toss those stats too. So on the and, official and NBA the, ladder, they're, they're probably fifth. And Harden improved from last season. On the official NBA ladder, yeah, ladder. Right, right, shooting better field goal percentage, three point rebound. Yeah, hella seventeen assist games. Like, yeah. I mean, it helps to have Kyrie. <laughs> nah, of course it helps to have the best team in the in the West. They go to the East, but so like, I feel like when when you're great, I feel like that's reasonable. Oh, for sure, for sure. He's for definitely getting for sure. he's getting the games he's supposed to win done. But that's the thing we expect him to win every single game, right? Exactly. Like that's what great players do. If he wasn't great, he'll be folding. Yeah, he's getting like, shit done. All right, on the official NBA NBA ladder, it goes JoJo, then LeBron, then Jokic, then Steph Curry, nah. Damian Lillard, Kawhi, Doncic, Antetokounmpo, Donovan Mitchell, then James Harden. I would have Harden. I, I would have Harden then. six. <laughs> I don't get that. You have him How six. I mean, when did the Harden MVP talk start? You can't make him an MVP. No, or he, like no, I'm not saying you guys are saying he's MVP, but he rec he's been playing good all year, but the buzz really started like a week ago, like two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. So you got to give Curry and Lillard the <laughs> edge and Jokic, but at this pace, he's definitely yeah. Gonna I, surpass, I, don't, like, I, don't, I don't get how that makes sense. How is Curry on top of Lillard? And I know Curry is going. Curry, off oh, okay. Season. I mean, I can't. But I'm like, gonna say Curry because. But I understand, like Lillard, the fact that they're a uh, like they're both MVP they? candidates. Well, I, I nah, agree there. It, like, so I think a lot of it has to do with expectation, right? So the Golden State Warriors are expected to be the bottom of the of the league, exactly. and That's now my... they're eighth. <clears throat> yeah, Lillard is always expected to be in the like in the mix. Really? And Curry's going yeah, off. Like, I'm not even front. Like Curry's going off. <laughs> like Curry's really really. The thing with Lillard off. though is that he doesn't have CJ right now. 
Yeah. Or Nurkic. Or Nurkic. Or so Nurk, in yeah. his favor. You got like, Mello. Yeah, you got Mello. You got Mello. You've seen Mello. Oh, that guy, the guy who played for the Knicks? Yeah, that oh, really good one. Yeah, that yeah. Hall of Famer. Yep. He actually had a really cool moment with LaMelo. I guess. That game. You really just to me, that was a little bit too, like, forced. You really like, just disrespected him. They're called Mellow. Right? Nah, I feel like that was yeah, definitely like, like nah, some it's cool. It's but cool, bro. He definitely, cool. Says, he definitely says something. He's like, he's like, nah, it's cool. It's you can cool, keep the but, name. But it's like, I feel like, like he oh, definitely. I'm giving you the name. Because like, LaMelo was sitting name. down and Mellow, Mello, like, walked by him. Yeah. And I feel like he went up to him, like, yo, you know, we got to do this. <laughs> <laughs> you're right you're right do you, do you know how many looking... likes will this get like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. i think it's cool, nah, but it is cool. the battle of the Mello does a three to the dome like it's i, I like the, that i thought it was pretty cool for him to like, not get Mello being because he could have easily been real sensitive about it he yeah. could have yeah. easily yeah, been real be sensitive awkward. about it yeah that would have been awkward it's for the mellow no for carmelo just everyone involved yeah, i'm so used to saying like carmelo could have been like nah he can't use that that's fine for carmelo anthony like how Shaq was with superman this is a perfect like yeah exactly with with dwight Oh Bruh, my god. Yeah, that was like, crazy. Like, give me my name. Like, <laughs> <laughs> give me my name. So awkward, yeah. I'm in tears. Just like this. Do you really think that the year's gonna end with James Harden being the MVP? You're the one we're rooting for him? No, you just uh, asked him, no, no. where do you uh, rank? No, no, it was him that Yeah, actually. I think he said third, right? Yeah, Harden, nah, I got him third, third or fourth. Third yeah. Or fourth. yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Speed first. LeBron second, third. I'll probably still go Jokic. I'll I got Lebr I got LeBron winning MVP this Jokic season. Jokic is losing. I don't get why people are having so high up when they're Come losing. On. Yeah, but what Can't he's mean, doing? Yeah, this he's going insane too. Like he's. But I thought we already did that. I thought we did the, we did that that one time with Westbrook. Like Westbrook got the one amazing stat. Exactly. But bad look, team Jokic is doing that center, like bro. more efficient, more. Yeah, I know, but I, think, I thought we already did that the one time. Like that's it. Like he got it. No one else can do it. Like it's like he broke the like we made the so rule because of him. You don't right? think Westbrook deserved that MVP? No, he did, but that's it. He got the one that MVP. We can't do that again. Right. Oh, winners only. How come no one says he hates Westbrook? If I say it, I'm like, he hates I, 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 I don't hate Westbrook. I love Westbrook. I love Westbrook too. You hate everyone. Man. Shout out Wizards. <laughs> Shout out well, Wizards. I thought you were say shut up, Jason. They're playing better. Yeah. Now, I'm actually 13, 20. Man. I hate her. Be anyway. realist. No, you no, you're a hater. No, really? No, you're. I hater. don't hate Ricky Rubio. Yeah, man, but um, I got Le I got LeBron winning MVP, man. I really hope so. Yeah, I got. Wait, he I needs want, to start winning. My heart says LeBron. But your your mind. gut says. I don't even think my head. My head can't make up why its your mind. Heart? Like you want, like you want him to win MVP. Yes, we will search. Like shut up. Like, yeah, I don't like how people call him washed king. Who, okay, who? Yeah, who I think says everybody that? does. Critics. No, no, you know what? What critics? No, no, no. Skip Bayless. No, no, no. Why does Skip Bayless become anybody... the poster child for like any LeBron? I don't like... think. Well, I mean, that's very obvious. But I don't think anybody don't says it out loud. No right. one says. I don't it. think anybody criticizes LeBron out loud, unless they don't watch basketball. Because there's plenty of old heads that don't watch basketball Be that criticize yeah, LeBron. But, this, this but is... my, my my point is that. But when I get on Twitter or Instagram, bro. Yeah, half the comments are about hating LeBron. I'm just like, okay, but those what are, are these permits high during the day? You gotta know who to take serious. Some people are literally trolling. Like yeah. some people no, 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 no. are trolling. Just Bro, because well, there's someone a lot of... says this is the thing though. LeBron, some LeBron fans are super sensitive. Like when they were saying Giannis was better. Like okay, they were Ew. wrong clearly, but they got so like they got so offended that the fact that people would say Giannis like oh, it's not offensive to say LeBron. Is the second best player at age thirty four or whatever? However, yeah, old no, he was. I mean for sure. Like, there's <laughs> definitely LeBron like uh, bleep writers, right? Uh, but and he's proven everyone wrong. Even me, I thought I would rather as, have Kawhi at that point. But as far as the haters, <laughs> as far as the haters, there's definitely a lot of smoke. There has to be a lot of fire too. Yeah, there's way too much smoke for there to be no fire. For what, everybody to be trolling. What I meant. Because I see Martin looking at me. What I meant was at that point, I thought I would rather have Kawhi. At which point? At that point. <laughs> last year. Like in the, in the, the and then Kawhi just they choked. Do it. I was like, yeah. Like, what, what was I doing? <laughs> what was I doing? <laughs> at least you can admit you're wrong. Because it was such a, like, it was such a, it was such a difference. Like, just like Kawhi literally choked. And then meanwhile, LeBron MPG was like, just going taking going care of business. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. Yeah, that narrative like, was so weird. It was always, damn, LeBron's path is so hard. And it was like. Yeah, that was damn, nothing LeBron's you could path, say. That, damn, LeBron's, LeBron's path was so easy. Wow, he yeah. got there so quick. Like, I'm like, nah, he made it. Even. Yeah, look, yo, it was that that the flip best of part, narrative was crazy. The yeah. best part was like when Portland won that first game. Everybody was shooting. Twitter, Twitter went was going 180. Crazy. Even Damian Lillard, who never shows any type of emotion, he was dancing and stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That didn't age well. It's a damn shame. Joke. Ooh, Booker named Hair of the Month. That's exciting. That is exciting. That is exciting. Maybe they did, he did deserve to get that all-star placement after all. 
Of course. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, isn't that exciting? Yeah. Okay. I guess that's that. <laughs> we didn't even bring this up. That's our second seed right now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. The, After player of the this, month. Yeah, I mean, I, we, we, I brought up player of the month, Devin Booker, and nobody wanted to talk about that. Yeah. Shit. Oh, I should have. <laughs> I mean, we, I we always talk pretenders, contenders. What do you guys think that? I was just telling Max, I think they're super legit. No, they're legit. I wouldn't be surprised if they're in the conference finals. I was telling Max. Hmm. I feel yeah, like, yeah, the conference finals. seating. Hmm. Like, if they face, like, a Clippers team that's still, like, struggling, like, um, I, I, like that kind of bullshit. Even though the Clippers are my favorite team, if they were to like, play against each other, tough. I think Suns will beat the Clippers. Bro, I, I, I genuinely good. believe they could beat the Lakers. All right. I won't go there. I genuinely believe that. Nah, because you're, you're saying I I this really after wrong. seeing last night with no AD. No, I, I always thought, I, I mean, not always, but Do you I think promise they you, could I beat before. the Lakers? The Lakers. They, they, the they're playoffs? not going to be favorites. Yeah, they're not going to be favorites. I mean, uh, in It'll how many games? In how many games? Seven. <laughs> Seven. Seven games Seven. against the Lakers. I think they could. In what round? I think they match up well. No, what round? Uh, they're getting I mean, bounced honestly, in five. The, the, we'll give them the a conference game. Conference finals, right? What's the conference finals? We'll give them a game because AD always finds a way to poke <laughs> his eye. <laughs> AD <laughs> always Man. pokes his eye or jams a finger. <laughs> always, yo, in every series. And he's then he's so doubtful long, for the like next he's game. He's always all over the place. He doesn't really even play like a big. He's just... Hey, yeah, he Wild. does. Yeah, he be like falling over. Baby, baby, am I right? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Suns are good. Bro. No, I, I can see the Suns making it at least the second round. All right, why is the Andre in such? A- Never mind. What? What? He's like, he's like a big man yeah, for no man. reason. What do you mean? That you bothers mean? me. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah. he's right. He's, he's right. Like a little babe. Like, he's I mean, like baby. Like, let's but... not offend him, but I get Come you. On, but like, bro. that's the same issue with uh, Jaron Jackson and. Yeah. And um, yeah, but Zion Aiden too, bro. Big. Zion should be rebounding way more. Yo. Okay, but come on, he's nah, at least he's dominating body the paint, the paint and yeah. the, in offense. But like in defense, the, okay, he, least, he does not Aiden play defense. Aiden is not dominating and, and like, in any way, bro. Aiden's like really. taking twelve foot jumpers. I'm like, bro, what? Get your ass down there in the paint, bro. No. What are you talking about? What do you it's, mean? It's two, well, po- uh, it's two points either way, bro. Get down nah, there. Yeah, nah, absolutely. Also, nah, he's beast. Beast. also, he looked like he's a baby, big, too, right? He got I feel baby like face. We're just spoiled. No, no, it's true, though. We're spoiled he for the young. fact that like he was in he the same young. draft as Trey and Luca. No. 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 So I, think this pedal stool, but... I think DeAndre Ains is good nah, and he's could be really, really good. good. He's really good. No, he's good. He's really good. I'm he's surprised good. when he's playing he's good really defense. Good. He's like, good. He's like, uh, <laughs> he's a double double machine. I was gonna machine. fuck around and say, "Yo, he's better than Gobert." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Should have said joking. it. Gobert's yeah. a bro. Gobert's a top better. fans coming for us. Gobert's years better. Should have said it. But Aiden, nah, Aiden's <laughs> one. I can't see the stats from here at all. It's blurry as hell. I'm thinking he averages what 19 and There's 9. There's no, too 14. many games where he's like 13. Oh, and 11. so he's gone down. Okay. I no, he averages 15 and 11. I mean, he averaged like 16 and 9 his rookie year. I think. Yeah, yeah. But and you know, I will good. say, good, I will yeah, say, good. I will say to his credit, it's kind of a good, I mean, it's a good and role. bad thing that he's not really complaining about it. Like he's just happy he's winning. Yeah, he's so he could be role, whining like and stuff, but he's playing defense. He's like, like he's happy to be winning. I like right Mikael Bridges. Mikael like Bridges, Mikkel Bridges, Bridges too. <clears throat> Bro, Jay Crowder. I don't know. I don't know what he does out there, but he's just so impactful. He's gonna guard LeBron, I guess. Jay but, Crowder. Uh, oh, of course. Yeah, he did it last year. Yeah. How did that go? But exactly, Nothing. Uh, I mean, no one. <laughs> but who's supposed to, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, Look well. at the schedule for the Suns, bro. They can they can keep the streak going a little I bit longer. Like a lot of these teams, I don't know. I'm, like these are teams they can beat: the Warriors, the Blazers, the Pacers, the Grizzlies, nah, you're right, though, the yeah. Timberwolves, sure. and then they hit the Lakers, and then they hit the Miami Heat. Both finals competition from last year. Don't get mopped. Are, aren't the Warriors a higher seed than the Heat right now in our conference? I mean, hey, 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 watch, I guess. Are they? No, we're know. seventh, I think. But yeah, they can keep the streak going for another cool little eight games no, they if they can. got it in them. Yeah. So they're dangerous. Hey, they can stay winning. They might topple the Utah Jazz. You know what I think? <laughs> you that would be a fun matchup. Uh, that would be a really fun matchup. No would. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of good basketball left to be played, bro. It feels like every night there's something like no, right? yeah, really there's, cool. There's every there. like different angles, like players, so much drama. Yeah, it's a really good time to be a basketball fan, I think. Even right. though it's a really weird season, it's still hella entertaining. Hella entertaining. I feel like every team has some narrative going on. Any games that you guys saw like this past like couple of days? Bro, you guys pe- were like, oh my god, what a yeah, game. Yeah, the she, Pelicans it's, Utah game, bro. Celtics Clippers last night. It's so hard to be the roof for Paul George, dude. He was doing good the <laughs> yeah. entire game, and then it's the fourth quarter, and then he just couldn't make anything. But he kind of puts that on himself, like that. He, he saw that, like he, and he starts blaming the refs, all this oh, shit. Yeah. He do be talking. Who who be talking? PG. PG. The ones they're winning is like, and they put a graph. Like, yeah, I'm coming for heads when he winning. When well, he, I mean, he's been playing really good. Nah, it's just a clutch. Yeah. Like, you can't make a shot in the clutch. They put a graphic up last night of his percentages. It was like terrible. <laughs> 
Damn. I love Paul George, man. I really like Paul George too, bro. I, I still believe in him, man. He's I believe really, in him in his role. Like he's if, really, but really, then really good needs in to 2K. Come through. Oh god, he's yeah. so funny, man. <laughs> he's fire in 2K. Yeah. yeah, he is. No, he isn't stoppable. Two K, two K. Bro, and I, I remember, bro, I remember getting PGs like shoes. Like, oh yeah, being super happy I with them. Like yeah. Kelly, I'm wearing PG shoes. I wanted the PlayStation I still, PGs. I still want those. The 2.5s. <laughs> yeah, they're so clean. Bro, those. that little strap across. I'm the trying front. to get them. I was always a fan of his since he got drafted, yo. Oh wow, brag about it. <laughs> nah, when he was backing up Danny Granger. <laughs> he's, he's so stupid. Nah, but honestly, nah, man, I'm saying nah, that man, we all like, know. Yeah, I got those pictures there as he fans. Danny Granger like, we know, got injured, bro. and then he got a fucked opportunity. Yeah, I don't know. Obviously, everybody's just kind of eh about him. Everybody's just kind of like waiting. Man, he's still he's still alive, man. Of what do you guys course, consider his prime hey, right now? A point a year. If I had a point at one year, that dark horse MVP year on this on the OKC Thunder, Thunder that, where that he got was, bounced in the first round by yeah. rookie Donovan Mitchell, because he yeah. got five points. No, no, but that was a, those were different years. No, oh, that was the same year. No, when he was, was. MVP. And back to you. All right, I guess we'll wrap it up. <laughs> we hit 100 subscribers. That is a big deal for us. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, all your opinions down below. Good, bad, whether you think we're idiots, whether you think we're really smart. Uh, tell your friends, tell your family. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Gang. Peace.